Today I'd like to read Where Is This Christ of Christmas by Marjorie Gordon. Why is this the most beautiful of Christmas? Hearing Christmas bells, we can... I'd like to thank the students, the faculty at Big County Hospital for remembering the many families they shared. See, it was Christ.
after the completion of my Christmas program, I do want to share with you two or three thoughts before we end our program. And certainly I want to say to the student body and our seniors and to our students that participated in today's program, how proud I am of you for taking a part in it and what talented people that we that we have in our school. And then Casey Reynolds.
with the work for you. So I bless your support. The full we are playing today is both informative and entertaining. We hope that in the program you will find it was worthy of your time. The celebration of Black History Month began in 1926 as Negro History Week. Prior to this time, Carter Godwin Woodson, a United States history teacher in Washington. I want to be your holy in my heart.
close our assembly. And last night, believe it or not, in the wee hours of the morning, I was trying to get some thoughts together that would be appropriate for everyone in this building. And I was reading and searching. And so My name is George Hicks, and I'll be your master of ceremonies tonight. On behalf of our faculty and students, I would like to welcome you to the 1991 Bibb County High School Giddy Walk. And thank you for your support and your attendance tonight. We host James Lavender. Andrew's hobbies include modeling, four-wheeler riding, twirling, clowning, and exercising. Her extracurricular activities in school include student council and senior council. She is also involved in the accelerated high school college program. She enjoys economics class because it allows her to learn about the economic situations of the world. After high school, Andrew will attend the University of Alabama and major in club, jazz band, and scholars bowl. She serves as National Honor Society Vice President and is co-captain of the Golden Girls. In addition, she was selected to the American All-Star Dance Team. Lydia enjoys dancing, poems, and poems, and studying them in depth. She plans to attend the University of Montevallo, where she will major in mathematics and computer science, society, student council, and senior council. She serves as dance line captain and anchor club, anchor club president. In addition, she was selected to the American All-Star Dance Team and was awarded trips to Hawaii on the Poco and Super Bowl 24 and 25. Bridget enjoys the independent assignments of literature in her AP English class. In her free time, she likes to dance. Yolanda enjoys learning about history because she feels that you must know your history in order to obtain a better present and future. Her hobbies include dancing, writing, and attending church. She is a member of the Feature Homemakers of America and serves as a senior class officer. She also participates in Upward Bound. After high school, Yolanda will attend Livingston. She is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Amos Cutts. Victoria's hobbies include singing, reading her to understand the future financial standards. Victoria is active in Future Homemakers of America, Senior Council, and French Club. She also serves as a peer helper and plays on the girls' basketball team. After high school, Victoria plans to attend. In her free time, she enjoys talking to kids about everyday problems, acting, dancing, swimming, performing on any occasion. She enjoys her math class because she likes to work with numbers. After
my good looking in the picture, Mr. Where are you going? I'm going to Six Flags. They had to get some really great looking people to go, so I, I decided to go.
Oh God, give each of us the will and strength to use the facts, the principles, and the values that we have learned as we respond to the challenges and the problems that we shall confront. Parents, faculty, fellow classmates, board members, and honored guests, we, the graduating seniors of 1991, welcome you to this very special night in our lives, too. Whatever you dream, you can be, because you have the ability to hold on to your dreams, no matter where they lead. Mr. Elliott, Mr. Pratt, Ms. Young, board members, faculty, parents, classmates, and friends. Tonight, the epic of the class of 1991 at Bibb County High School comes to an end. The foundation of our education and careers has been laid here. Now we embark on an odyssey to pursue our dreams, see new worlds, and acquire new understandings of our parents and teachers. We leave our alma mater confident to face whatever challenges we may encounter. We are excited by our prospects, but it is to you, underclassmen, who shall return to the halls of BCHS next year to continue the construction of your foundations and to make ready for your journeys that we now address. You long for your graduation day when you will receive your diploma as testimony to your labor and knowledge. Your self-satisfaction will be greater and your diploma more valuable according to the amount of learning you have achieved. This achievement depends upon a willingness to learn, a striving toward excellence, hard work, a good attitude, and a moral life. Think of these as the secrets to your success. In order to learn, you must entrust yourselves to the teachers and administrators who have devoted their lives to your training and well-being. Choose to work with them instead of against them. Your job is to learn from them, which requires that you submit to them as mentors who know more than you do. In his biography of Grace Kelly, Stephen England describes submission thusly, submission need not... In 1933, the President of the United States, Franklin D. Roosevelt, declared that, together we cannot fail. This has certainly proven true for our class the class of 1991. We have attended school together throughout the years, and tonight we have succeeded in graduating. We know that this achievement was made possible only through the support and encouragement of our parents and teachers and the qualities of pride, dedication, and perfection that they have instilled in us. Parents, faculty, board members, guests, and fellow classmates, Tonight, we celebrate one of the most significant moments in the life of a young person, for it marks the end of one era and the beginning of yet another. This evening, the graduating class of 1991 marches bravely into adulthood with our heads held high. Even the most difficult tasks can be accomplished. We lighted a torch of knowledge and instilled in each You have supported and allowed us to reach our highest potential. You have provided us... I never thought I'd feel this way. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm glad I got the chance to say that I do believe I love you. I should never go away. Well, just close your eyes and try to feel the way we do.
It is my pleasure to introduce some of the leaders of the Bibb County Board of Education. These are the people who have directed our educational system the past year. Sonia will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Jason Moore Christie will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Katrina Bowden Cadell and having a B plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. Business and Professional Women's Leadership Scholarship for $100 and the Bibb County Cattlemen's Association Scholarship for $250. Daniel Todd Champion. Stephanie Ann Clare. Stephanie will receive a certificate for being a member of the Board for Outstanding Service and the Bibb County Professional and Business Women's Leadership Scholarship for $100. Teresa L. Cleveland, certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B-plus or above average to qualify and the Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. Timothy Carl Cottingham. Timothy is scholarship for $250. Yolanda Rochelle Cottingham. Yolanda holds the office of reporter for this class. Mickey is receiving a certificate for the Good Citizenship Award from the Area Vocational School. Victoria Renee Cutts. Victoria will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year, a leadership award from the French Club, an athletic scholarship for basketball to Lawson State Community College, the Evelyn Marshall Memorial Scholarship for $100, the Mount Tabor Chapter an average of 90 or above for the past four years. Jason Scott Dockery. Julie Ann Dock for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACMIC Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year and the Lieutenant Governor's Physical Fitness Award, which is sponsored by the Alabama Governor's Epperson. Brian Fikes. Philip will receive an Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. He will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Shelton State Community College Academic Scholarship Baseball. And he will receive an Athletic Scholarship for Baseball to Shelton State Community College. The Office of Treasurer for this class. She is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B-plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years and the Leadership Award in Publications. Jonathan Matthias Foster. Jonathan is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B-plus or above average to qualify and the Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above during the past four years. Marsha Renee Fountain, Academic Fitness Award Program. 
Attendance is always stressed at Bibb County High School as being extremely important. It is evidence of self-discipline and mental maturity in a student. For one year, Mark Karen Denise George, third year student. Katherine Ashley Gideons. Katherine is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academy and having a B plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership of Cosette Nady Hayes. George holds the Office of President for this class. He is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. The Good Citizenship Plaque, which was voted on by the faculty for the student displaying the traits of service, leadership, and scholarship. A plaque as the National Honor Society Honor Student, chosen by the members of the National Honor Society as the student, representing most of the, most the ideals of character, leadership, scholarship, and service. The Army Reserve National D. Hill. Jeff will receive an athletic scholarship for basketball to Lawson State Community College. is receiving a Clinical One Award from the Area Vocational School. Eric Lee Holsenbach. Teresa Ann Hope. And of the leadership exhibited this year. Jason Dale Hudson. Michael G. Hughes. Michael received the Betty T. Sullivan Award in band. Richard F. Jackson. Saul Shane Jackson. Patrick Carey James. Pat is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile for the past four years. He will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. And Mr. Tom Fancher of the Kiwanis Club of Centerville is presenting Pat with the Kiwanis Club Scholarship for $300. From the area vocational school. Jermaine Kidd. Kevin Ray Kynard. Kevin is receiving a certificate as the most outstanding welding student. Jennifer Elizabeth King. Jennifer is receiving the Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year and the Brent Banking Company Scholarship for $500. Casey Lynn Cornegie, age of 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year and the Bibb County High School at Lawley. Carrie is receiving a Faculty Merit Award based on effort and cooperation in the classroom. Charles Anthony Lawley, operation in the classroom, the DeKalb Agriculture Gold Medal, and the Bibb County, Timothy Jerome Lamond. Jerome will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year and an athletic scholarship fully paid from managing to Jacksonville State University. Charles Leverett. <laughs> Le 
Lisa Don Litton. Lisa will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. The Principal's Award for Outstanding Service a National Merit Scholarship to Auburn University for $750 for four years. Auburn University, the Bibb County High School Athletic Booster Club Scholarship for an athlete who has performed above average in the classroom. And Brad has had five years of perfect attendance and for that he is being awarded a gold medal. An athletic scholarship for football fully paid to the University of North Alabama. He's receiving the Principal's Award for Outstanding Service. Patrick Justin Mathis. Gregory Scott McCool. Greg is receiving the Lurleen B. Wallace State Junior College Scholarship for $300 from the Bibb County Youth Foundation. Cheryl Diane McCulley. Debbie Ann McQueen. Debbie Hay College. Elaine McQueen. Sheila Hill Melvin. Sheila is receiving a Faculty Merit Award for effort and cooperation in the classroom and the Lieutenant Governor's Physical Fitness Award sponsored by the Alabama Governor's Commission on Physical Fitness. Sherry R. Melvin. Beth Renee Merchant. Beth will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Angela Annette Mickens. Angela is receiving a certificate as the most outstanding health occupation second year student. Monica Lavette Mitchell. Joanne Moore. Joanne holds the office of secretary for this class. She is receiving a certificate for the Good Citizenship Award from the Area Vocational School Joanne has had four years of perfect attendance, and for this she is receiving a gold medal. The Bibb County Junior Miss Scholarship for $100, and the Mount Tabor Chapter Number 755 Order of Eastern Star Scholarship for $200. Catherine Moore, attendance here for five years, and for this she is being awarded a gold medal. Malcolm Moore. Crystal Moreland. Yolanda Nicole Morrow. Yolanda is receiving a certificate as the most improved health occupations education student. Lisa Nelson. Katrina Leah Noah. Eleanor Elizabeth Owens. Beth will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this <laughs> Debbie will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. The Bibb County Education Association Scholarship for $350 and the Bibb County Business and Professional Women's Johnny Faye Davis Memorial Scholarship for $100. Tawana Parsons. Jeff Payne. Jeff is receiving the Lurleen B. Wallace State Junior College Scholarship for $900. 
It is the Martha and Solon Dixon Forestry Scholarship. Brian Perkins. Brandon Perry. Billy James Phillips. Chad Pittman. Edna Marie Quillman. Marie will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. Angela Elaine Ray. Angela is receiving a certificate as the Mosey Leo Reynolds. Casey holds the office of Vice President for this class. She is receiving the Principal's Award for Outstanding Service and a Shelton State Community College Academic Scholarship for tuition and fees. Michael Scott Reynolds. Mike has been awarded an athletic scholarship for football to the University of North Alabama. Lee Marcus Ryan. Debbie Ann Rice. Debbie is receiving the Health Occupation Certificate Clinical One Award. She. Janice is receiving the Principal's Award for Outstanding Service. Mike Roberts. Javier Rojo. Tony Lynn Ross. Lydia Lou Russell. Lydia is re and having a B plus or above average to qualify. She will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year. The Brent Study Club scholarship for $250 an Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years, a Faculty Merit Award for effort and cooperation in the classroom, the J.I. and Vera Riddle Memorial Scholarship to Judson College for $1,200, renewable for four years, Bibb County Junior Miss Scholarship to the University of Montevallo for $1,000, renewable for four years, and Bibb County Junior Miss Scholarship for $880. Randy Earl Rutledge, College for Basketball. Larry Wayne Sanders, Stephanie is receiving the Principal's Award for Outstanding Service. Michael Kevin Schultz. Mike will receive a certificate for being a member of the Senior Council in recognition of the leadership exhibited this year and the Principal's Award for Outstanding Service. John Irvin Smelly. A scholarship for $500 from the Bibb County High School Class of 1959 in memory of his father, Etheridge Smelly. Lance Smith being awarded for the above on the ACT and having a B plus or above average to qualify. The Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years and a Leadership Award in Publication. <laughs> Melanie Ann Stone. <laughs> James Eatman Thompson. Jim is receiving a certificate as the most outstanding forestry student, a Brent Banking Company scholarship for $500 and $100 from the Bibb County Youth Foundation Forest Technical Program. Bridget, in the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B plus or above average to qualify, an Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years, the Leadership Award for the Anchor Club, 90 or above for the past four years. She will receive a certificate for Bibb County High School Athletic Booster Club Scholarship for Leadership in the Athletic Program. National Honor Society Scholarship for $300, the Underwood. 
Brenda is receiving the Stacy Michelle Wanda Wallace. Tracy is receiving the leadership Angela Gale Washburn. The faculty merit award for effort and cooperation in the classroom. J. Thomas Watkins. Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. Sherry Marie Watkins. Rebecca Ashley White. Rebecca is receiving a medal and certificate for the Presidential Academic Fitness Award for reaching the 80th percentile or above on the ACT and having a B-plus or above average to qualify. An Academic Achievement Award for earning an average of 90 or above for the past four years. Rebecca has been in perfect attendance for five years at Bibb County High School, business education student. Teresa has been in perfect attendance for one year at Cultural Construction in the Southwest Central District for 1991, and he is receiving a certificate. by taking the Scholastic Aptitude Test in the fall of their senior year. All finalists are awarded a certificate of merit. Outstanding senior girl. The students who receive these honors are chosen by the faculty and are recognized for their leadership, scholarship, and service to the school and community. These awards are sponsored by the Kiwanis Club of Centerville. Mr. Howard Cleveland will present these awards. Our most outstanding senior girl is Marsha Renee Fountain. Our most outstanding senior boy is John Bradley Lowry.
Hey, we know it's gonna be boys. We ain't 